Robert Nasseri, great to have you with us. Welcome to the show. Well, the Taliban have won, uh, and now comes the hard part. They're going to be uh, having to run the country right now. Um, and one of the biggest concerns is the future for women in Afghanistan, the rights uh, for women, for girls in the country. Will they be allowed to go to school? Will they be allowed to go to university? Will they be allowed to take up jobs, uh, professional jobs, etc.? cetera? Um, will the UN be working with the Taliban on these issues? Um, as Michael rightly said now, um, the, the statements by the Taliban uh, have all said that there will be a place for women and girls under the ruling um, and the protection of the rights will be preserved under Sharia law. We still need to understand exactly what is the unpacking of the Sharia law means. Uh, the United Nations and UN Women um, is there to stay. Uh, we have our teams on the ground, the internationals are on the ground. Um, and when the time comes that the United Nations have uh, a dialogue with uh, the Taliban, uh, we will have women and girls uh, at the center and at the heart of these conversations to make sure that women are part of the governance and the government, to make sure that the access to services is preserved, to make sure that we continue working on ending violence against them. Well, that's the very nuanced part of that pledge from the Taliban, saying that the rights of women and girls will be respected within Sharia law. But for the UN itself, regardless of what Sharia law stipulates, what would you like to see? Exactly what I have just said. Mm -hmm. Basically, women to continue to be active in the public life, yeah. uh, not only the political, but also the economic and the social. Uh, that women um, do uh, exercise the right to access all services, mm -hmm. health, education, legal, etc. Uh, that women and girls uh, live a life free from violence. Um, these are really the, the main pillars of our engagement uh, with and for Afghan women and girls in Afghanistan. And these are the ones that we will continue to have a conversation with uh, Taliban in uh, Afghanistan about.